I promise you this one is going to be the last video on arrays method. I really want to do more videos on that, explaining them more in depth and detail with probably use case scenarios. But right now, I'm gonna go this one as last one because we need to cover other topics. We haven't touched object here. We haven't touched loops yet. So we got a lot of things to cover up. So this one is gonna be the last one, but slice and splice. These are very, very common one, which we use and very confusing one, to be honest. And a whole lot of people get misinterpreted that how they're gonna work. Before we move forward, say it along with me. Whenever you're passing up a range, the first value, which is the start point is always inclusive. And the last value or the end range is always exclusive means whenever we are saying that start from position number two and end at position number five, the two value is going to be inclusive. It will be included, but the value five, this is where the range ends. So that is not going to be included. So keep that in mind. Okay. Moving forward. Let's just go ahead and log these users. I've got a few users and of course they are from my website learncodeonline.in and they are real users, real paid users from my website. So I picked up a few users from my website and we're gonna talk about the splicing and slicing of them. First, let's go start with the slicing one because that's the most the easy one. So we're gonna simply say users and we want to take a slice out of it. So how does the slice actually works? It's very easy to see that slice is almost like slicing of the birthday cake and you take the chunk out of it. It's almost very similar to that, but make sure we are slicing two parts there, not just one part. So that is the most important thing. A birthday cake can be cut out in a variety of ways. We're gonna see that here. The most common one is slicing it in two parts and taking that chunk. This is how it works in a regular uh, use case scenario. For example, I'm gonna say start at position one, end at position three. So what's going to happen? It's gonna start at position one, so this is zero. It's gonna start it here. So one, then two, then this is three. So this is not gonna be included. Remember I told you the range, the end value is exclusive. So we exclude that and we come back here. So that's what's gonna be the result of this slice one comma three. So go ahead and save this and let's run this one and we get the same result. Tim and Ton are included in the slicing portion of it. And that's the most important thing. If I, if I just move my range a little bit more, so notice what's going to happen. We're gonna start from zero. Nope, that's not start from one. So one, two, three, four. Four is exclusive. We come back here and we say this time, Tim, Ton and Sam are the part of it. So let's just go ahead and run that. We see exactly that. The thing actually becomes a bit more confusing when somebody comes up and just pass on one value in the slice. Very common thing, all programmers do it a lot. But now notice what's going to happen. Now this is something different. So in the slicing part, we have sliced off when we are just providing a start range. We are not picking up the things, but whatever we are cutting it out, we are just dropping it off. So almost like that. So notice when I say one, that means Ted is being sliced, but this time this is being sliced off and rest of the values actually comes in. Very common scenario, very common practice, and people do it a lot. And sometimes when people mix it up, something with the uh, things like a users uh, dot length and minus one, something like this, then it becomes whole crazy aspect that what actually he's trying to do. But if you know these methods, it's gonna become much, much easier in that case. So I'm gonna flip it up back to something like one so that you get the point. Okay, this is the most easy one, the slice. The splicing is actually a bit different. Let me show you that and uh, show you the confusing part actually. So we're gonna say users and actually let's hold that into a value. So we're gonna say const, again const variable, we have seen them a lot. So don't get confused with that. Let's call it as a result or something like that. So let's call it as, or let's just say let's, Let's do a different thing. I know this is confusing, but don't worry. Let's just go ahead and do this directly, users, and we're gonna do a console log of users. Let's not hold that into new variable. I just want to do it directly. So we have seen the slicing. We're gonna do this time a splice of that. Now splice is interesting because of these things. I'm gonna pass one comma two, and I'm gonna pass on a value high. This is the usual example you're gonna see in all the documentation, but notice what happens when I run this one. 
So this said, okay, start with one. So I started with the Tim and then it says uh, two. So usually people say uh, zero, one and position number two. So it is assumed that all of these, take all of these out, splice them out and insert high in those places. But that is not how it works. The first value is actually a start value, but the second is not the end position. It is the count value in this case. So count two here from the position number one and then just delete them off and instead of them, just insert the value whatever I'm providing. So from one, it counted out uh, zero. This is one, so it says one. How many should I count? Two, so count Tim and Ton and instead of them, replace this high. That's exactly what happened. This get much more clear when I say oh, one comma three and run this again. Now notice here it started with one. So it says how many should I count? Three. So one, two and three. So Sam is also being counted. And instead of all of these three, these get deleted out. The new value is high and the high get inserted and sore and sore gets in. So the two difference is one gets a range. Another one is says, hey, give me the starting point and give me how many should I count? And this is the most confusing point be uh, between the slice and the splice. But there's a little bit more interesting. I can go ahead and say buy. Now what's going to happen, notice this one. It says, okay, I'm gonna count from one. So one, two and three. So these all will be removed. And instead of them, I will enter high and buy as a value and rest of the array will remain exactly at the same. So yes, you can pass on as many values as you like. So remember this, in the slice you pass on a range, start value and end value and it slice it off. If you just pass on one value that's act as a kind of a slice off. When you use a splice, it is actually uh, a start point and the count value that how many you want to count and then you can provide all of this. Now again, uh, sometimes these are actually helped you uh, this code editor helps you out. So I'm going to simply say splice. So notice here, uh, it says uh, uh, it says index, but it's not helping me out much in this case. I'm going to say splice, splice, there we go. So there we go. It says uh, start here, start number, then the delete count, how many should I count? And then you can optionally pass on a string array that how many values should I insert. So these editors sometimes help you, but again, the best way to find more about them is through MDN documentation. That is always a better place to have it. I'm gonna comment this out and we'll leave rest of the stuff so that you can enjoy them. And uh, we're gonna call it a day off here. Now let's go ahead and finally move on to some different topic. But in the next video, hit that subscribe and move on to next video.